So How to Geo is again available from the howto.com website. And again, there's a, a free download that you can try it out. Now, basically it's an application that allows you to put uh, geographic location information onto your photos. And it's basically intended for two different types of workflow, either just to tag your photos so that you can store them in iPhoto or Aperture and uh, use that information later on. Or if you want to tag your photos once they've been into iPhoto or Aperture, or even if they're just external photos and you want to share them via Flickr or via Google Earth, you can use it for that as well. Now, uh, again, installation is straightforward. Just download the demo. It's a zip file that you want to unzip. You have the application and then just drag that across to your applications folder. But as usual, I've pre-installed it. So uh, here we are. This is the user interface of How to Geo. Now, it's a very simple application to use. Um, all you need to do, in fact, the, uh, the designer has color coded like a three stage process. So stage one, you add images to the project. So we can either drag images from our iPhoto library or if we have them externally, we can just pull them from uh, from an external folder. Now you can just drag and drop images into the panel as well, but let's say add images from our library. Okay, so now we're at the iPhoto. Now it does support Aperture as well, um, but there's no Aperture installed on this machine. So I'm just gonna select this folder here, World Trip, and there are four photos. So I'm just gonna select these four photos, uh, one from San Francisco, one from Prague, one from Manchester and another one from San Francisco. And we'll just say, okay. It's now loaded those and they're in red because they're not geotagged. You see here columns for latitude, longitude and altitude as well. Um, all we need to do is highlight each individual photograph. You can see here, you get a thumbnail of each photo. Let's go to the top one. This is one taken from a boat just off the Golden Gate Bridge. Now you can actually enter data in here so you can rename them. So I'll just put, uh, let's put the city and the country in and a comment. Okay, and uh, now what we need to do, it's already taken us on to step two. So these are the four different options available to us. Uh, we can load GPS data from device, but we haven't got a device at the moment. Uh, from a file, so if we had a file, we could do that. Again, I haven't. So now I can geocode selection using a map or geocode selection using Google Earth. Uh, if we have a look at the map option first. Okay, there's our pin. I want to drag it to roughly there. Let's zoom in. Oops, too far. And there we go, there's San Francisco. And again, let's zoom in a bit. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. And I actually was about there. And if you look at the photograph, you'll see, yeah, we're sort of looking up at the bridge from round about that particular point. Just say OK. And there we go. It's put in, it's inserted the latitude and longitude of that particular point on the map. Now you'll notice that the newly geo-encoded uh, file is now in black and we have the latitude and the longitude, but these other files are still in red and this indicates that we haven't actually tagged them as yet. So uh, what I'm going to do is for this next file, I'm going to tag this using uh, Google Earth. Now Google Earth is a free application that you can download from Google. Uh, I've actually already pre-installed it on this machine, but uh, if you haven't tried it out before, it's quite a, quite a unique package, but uh, let's have a quick look. I'll click on this icon here, which should load Google Earth up for us. This front panel is the How to Geo Google Earth encoding panel. Uh, when we find our location, we just click on this button here. But uh, until I find the location, I'm just going to drop this off the screen slightly. Now, what we need to do now is to fly to the location of the Petrin Tower in Prague. So let me just type in Prague. And there we go. That will zoom us straight to Prague. Right, we can zoom in using our mouse button and then let's have a look. It's in this wooded area here. There we go, Petrin View Tower. I can actually click on that and there we go. There's the, uh, actually it's actually the identical picture to the one I've taken, but that's exactly where it is. So what I need to do is to just line up these crosshairs on the same location. There we go. And then once I'm happy with that location, I just select the Howder panel and then say Geocode. And that takes the latitude and longitude. And if we go across to, let me just pop Google Earth down. And there we go, it populates the latitude and longitude in uh, Howder Geo. So let's go to the next one. Now this is actually in Manchester. So again, what I need to do is just get Google Earth back up. 
And what I need to do now is fly to Manchester. And it's actually Manchester Trafford Centre. OK, that will take us across to Manchester. Now I actually know that this Games Workshop entry is spot on the money. So there we go. That's just taken us into the actual Trafford Centre itself. And there we go. Uh, again, line up our crosshairs where we want it. And then uh, just go back to Howda Geo and say Geocode. And there we go. That's that one done. So let's go back to our fourth and final photograph. Now this is actually in the Moscone Centre, or just outside, uh, across the road from the Moscone Centre in San Francisco. So again, back to Google Earth. Just move that slightly out of the way. And that takes us straight across to the Moscone. And if we just zoom in a little bit, I know it's uh, there we go to that great big building and that photograph was actually taken just across the way so it's about there so again back to our panel and just say geocode pull that down and there we go there's all the coordinates for the four different photographs <laughs>